morning, guys. What's up, everybody? Yeah, we did that backwards this time. Didn't yeah. We? Anywho, so we are still on vacation week, and we decided to take a random trip to the upstate of South Carolina to go check out a waterfall. Um, yeah. But fun fact, we're gonna drive through Georgia to get there, even though we live in South Carolina. Well, so. that's the way the GPS is taking us, and I trust it more than I trust myself. Anywho, so where are we heading to? The falls that I cannot pronounce their name, so I'm gonna let you do it. I don't know what they're called. It's Aquina, I think, falls. Yeah. Um, Wahala, South Carolina. In Wahala. And there's like a little tunnel there. We're gonna go on a little hike, have some lunch. I didn't bring our blanket, I don't think, to picnic. Oh well. But we'll just park it somewhere and have a little Subway sandwich. And yeah, we're gonna go check out some waterfalls, hang out in nature. We haven't been to the mountains since, I think, our honeymoon, so. True. Yeah, so this is going to be a fun little Saturday afternoon adventure. It's a under three hour drive, so we can do it in the day and back. We're not going to spend too much time on the waterfalls, maybe an hour or so. Uh, depending on the weather, a little slight chance of rain, but we came prepared for that as well.
the front on and like through the windshield on the cube so but it is raining a little bit so hopefully it'll be clear picture <laughs> get a little more confident in my driving than i was a few minutes ago we're in the sumter national forest Cool. Somebody needs to change it. What's the five dollars for for more than seven people? Here, if you have a trailer, RV, bus. Okay, gotcha. Park hours from ah. Wherever there's a place to park down here, we will park. I guess this is the parking area. Um, sure. tunnels straight ahead. The falls are that way. Picnic and shelter to the left. So this is the sign for Isaquina Falls. That's fine. We'll just go park over here. All right, so we're here at Issaquina Falls. We made it. And we're about to go show you all of nature's beauty. Yeah. Let's go. Here. And this is a sign that tells you a little bit about Issaquina Falls. So, this waterfall is named for a creek maiden called Issaquina, and she was a girl captured by the Cherokee and given the name Katichi. She fell in love with a white man, and she overheard a plan by the Cherokee to attack their settlements. She found a swift pony and rode 60 miles to this fort. And as she traveled, she named the landmarks she crossed on her way. Six Mile Mountain, 12 Mile River, 18 Mile Creek, and others on the way to her final destination at Fort 96. She remained with the white man, fearing retribution, and she married him. Her, her husband, and her newborn baby moved back to Stump House Mountain and they built their house. One day, one of the chiefs was mad with the white settlers and sent his warriors to capture her. She saw them coming and ran to this waterfall to escape capture. Knowing that the Cherokee believed evil spirits lived in the waterfalls, she pretended to leap to her death. She hid on the ledge below the top of the waterfall where she remained until it was safe to rejoin her family. Her dramatic escape began the legend of It's a Queen of Fall. Just love a good stream running through the woods. <laughs> yeah. Something you know? about a good, good stream. Yeah, it's just really pretty. I love the sound. What is it? So this is the top of the So fall. we're at the top of It's a Queen of Falls right now. So we're going hiking downward. Yeah. Look over there. How cool is this? <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Right, let me get some I'm gonna get a picture of it. A square picture. What's that? Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that picture that we got. Panoramic view. That's gorgeous. Might be using that for my cover photo. And look at this. You can see all the rock where it's just been carved okay. out this little pathway for us. So we are walking down, down, down. 
So we are walking down, down, down to the base of the fall. It's a little slick, but it's okay. We'll be all right. It's raining and thundering, but it ain't gonna stop us. Down here is the trail that takes you down to the bottom in a, a better, well not a better, but a closer view of some of the falls. We're gonna see how treacherous it is. If yeah, it's too bad, it's we too won't bad, do it. Yeah, we probably won't. Matter of fact, I might go down there and try it out right now if you wanna film you? watch me do it. Yeah, I can. Just let me know if it's too bad. So it's right off the end right there. There's a little path. So you go to the right. I'm not going any further because this is just a little too steep for me. But we got a better view of these falls. It's just really gorgeous. We're on our way out of the falls now. We're gonna go check out the tunnel, and then we're gonna see what other waterfalls around here we can find. Look at that view. Oh, what a view. Oh, it looks like you can go on the other side though, possibly. Yeah? Yeah? Well, there's a hiking trail. And we should go a few feet down there. Yeah. It's hard to believe because this little peaceful thing right there, a little peaceful little trickle right here, turns into that massive waterfall. It's pretty cool. Still kind of hard to believe. Look, there's a little picture frame. We should take our picture. Huh. So here, ooh, we can hear it really loud right here. So we're walking in a little new area. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. So slick. Don't fall. Jamie, 
look at you on the edge. Oh my. Oh my. That's so cool. It is pouring down rain right now. Just got stuck in a rainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom just fell out on us. Yeah. So, uh, we might have our picnic inside the car and figure out our next little destination of where we want to go check out. Well, there's a tunnel here that I want to see, and if it's raining, then the tunnel will tunnel. be covered. I'm going to go drive over to that area. All right. And now this guy has officially opened up. If you can't hear it or see it, it is pouring. It's pouring rain. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Raining pretty good, off and on. It was a 45% chance, I think. We got here like right, <laughs> the rain followed us here pretty much. Yeah. But it's okay because I felt like we needed another little adventure. It's absolutely gorgeous, even with the rain. Yeah. And peaceful. And we never picnic outside. No. We try to eat outside on our front porch every now and then. But this is kind of cool. Even if I am really cold right now. <laughs> Once we're done eating, we're gonna go try to see the tunnel though. And as always, we like to keep our parks clean. So I'm gonna hop through all of this water and make sure. Throw away your trash. And here is our special. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> they have so something really cool that they have on the trash cans. The trash cans don't just slide open. They have you have to reach under and hit a lever to open them cuz of bears. Bears and squirrels and or raccoons and Anything whatever. Anything really. And this is a stump house tunnel. Which it looks like you have to walk to. We've got umbrellas. Do you want to risk it or? It's up to you. Let's look at the weather. All right, so we are going up to the Stump House Tunnel. We waited for it to let up and it's just not happening. So we got our umbrellas out. Who was it, Jamie? The German Colonization Society of Charleston helped found the town of Wahala. Really? Yeah. My feet are wet now. Are oh, yours yeah. wet? Oh yeah. <laughs> they just they just started getting wet. But I think it's gonna be worth it. What do you think? We have these little photo apps over the park. It looks like an old train car. Yeah. Sure is. An old train car up here in the mountains on a little piece of track. Yeah, I'm not going out there with them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick over here. <laughs> yeah, that was a little scary. <laughs> Look at this little bench. Woo! That's crazy. So I guess there's bats and stuff in here. I don't know, but let's check it out. Well, I have a flashlight on my camera, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, this kind of looks scary. <laughs> Does this look scary to you? Oh yeah. Yes. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna turn on the flash now. Alright, got the flash on now. Oh wow. This is wicked. This is 
crazy. So there's that some stuff in here. Can you close my umbrella? Oh wow. Look on the side because there's like a full stream running out. You can hear bats. Did you, you hear them? It's weaving up top, yeah. There's bat droppings all moving up top. No, it's not really. No, it actually is pretty clean in here. Oh, I'm sorry. No. This is creepy and spooky. Look up here. Oh my gosh. I don't want to know. This is so, this is, might be the creepiest thing I've ever done. There's like a face in the wall right there. This is super Oh, it's like leaking up here. Oh my gosh, wow. This is cooler than the waterfall. This is- You can see all the moisture in the Are you air. recording? Yeah. Yes, I'm recording. Oh, that's so wicked. I don't know how much we'll be able to see of it, but like, look at the different colors in the wall. Like it's all shiny right here. It's so cool. Ooh, I'm gonna strip. <laughs> Edna, mom, love. How long is this tunnel? I'm kind of glad I'm in here, honestly. It's not too. That thunder sounds ridiculous. Yeah, I'm glad we're not the only ones in here. Yeah. There's the family up there, so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is a common place. It's not like the really crazy stuff. Right. Ooh. You have to really like be careful where you're walking in the house. Yeah. I wish I had brought the camera light. I know, I didn't think about that. Me neither. I didn't realize it was this long of a, a tunnel. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, this is the first time I've been in here. And that's all leaking right there. Look at all that. That's crazy. Oh, what's down there? What do you mean? There's like a room. A room? This is really cool. Oh, wow. It doesn't look wow. Super cool. Okay, so so there's like a line with something on the ceiling right now. This is like a brace. A brace? Probably. Ooh, it's a step down right there. Wow. Oh, I just got dripped on my head. Something <laughs> there. This says gate to hell. Can you see anything in there? It's just more tunnel. I wonder if it's just not stable to have people uh, walking through and stuff. It's just more like, of the same. Like, this is the part of the scary movie. That Where like you, things come out of the thing. Right, they come out of the thing. You can grave. hear them running. Exactly. Oh my god. Look. Oh. It's like daunting. It's really, actually, this is cooler than the waterfall. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I got stretched on me again. Look at those walls. I mean, you can see. This stuff is pouring out. She's losing through the ground. Probably why they didn't move the phone. Well, there is 
a whole class about it, so maybe we should go back and read that. Ooh. What? Over here. What about it? Do you see where it came from? It's so weird. So there's no bats in here. Back here, I don't, I don't hear them. At least not right now. Super cool. That looks like a bat. Yeah. Is that in the wall? Maybe. It's probably just a wood. That thunder rubble. Yeah, you have my umbrella still, right? Your what? My umbrella? Yes. This is really neat. Echo! You're being creepy. Do you want to film some? <laughs> yes, I would. I would love to film some. Right, it makes you able to see. <laughs> it looks creepy, but excellent. <laughs> what if someone answered you back? <laughs> that would be even creepier. Then we would run. This is. That's right, we can't. Because of the fungal spores. Right. You don't want to hurt the bats. Exactly, I didn't know that was a thing. Me neither. I thought like it should be no more. People that probably do cave stuff probably yeah. probably know this. You're right. I think it's wild coming from the stream down. Just where the water is running out. Do you think it's like water running like that all the time? Uh, it's probably more so that it's raining, but it looks like it might have a constant drip. I think it has. So that's good. Yeah. Okay. So I think that. Oh, I just did. A thumbnail picture in front of this cave. What do you think? So this is where we hear the bats. <laughs> oh, I just got hit right in the mouth with a drop of water. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're leaving the cave. So that's what the walls all look like on the inside. It's hard to see. I like the other one though. Thanks. Look at look at the tree roots. I need to get some B-roll of this. That's really cool how far down it goes into the side of that. Another waterfall over there? Yeah, there's another little cute waterfall over here. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Oh, so you can walk on some of these waterfalls. Yeah. Look, there's a stream coming down from all of that. Here. Here. I wonder if that leads into that same waterfall. I assume it probably does. I bet you it's probably running bigger and bigger and bigger now that it has run because of the rain. Right. Right. All the water off the hill is raining into that. This is really neat. We need to go read the history about this tunnel so we know what we just walked through. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> right? Uh, that's what it feels like. Pretty. Hello. Oh, another bird. All right, you want to try to walk out here one more time? Yeah, let's try it. Look at all of this rock stuff. It looks like you can Walking. climb everywhere. Says the mountains. But they don't recommend it. Do it at your own risk, they say. Was well, this a trail down here? It might be. All right. Babe. That little flicker thing. Leave it in the car. Oh, you can see your cell phone lights in the tunnel of the people walking in there. I know, because it's so dark. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with our little trip, even in the rain. This is yeah. really cool. I, I, that tunnel is really cool. And awesome. I learned something new about bats today. So the guys who did this, they were Irish immigrants. They worked 12 hour days, six days a week, and they used sledgehammers, hand drills, and black powder to mine that whole tunnel. Tunnel Hill was a rough town with more saloons than churches in 1854. Father Jeremiah Joseph O'Connell came to Tunnel Hill. Dismayed by the lack of sobriety and the lawlessness, he encountered Father O'Connell he and Father O'Connell worked to get the railroad company to agree to fire anyone that did not remain sober. He built a Catholic church dedicated to St. Patrick and established a school for the education of the miners' children. Huh. In 1850, the German Colonization Society from Charles Charleston organized the town of Wahala, which is about five miles southeast of Stump House Mountain. The prospects of having a major railroad line nearby brought much excitement about the future economic opportunities. The society's leader, John Andrews Wagner, filed a critical need for the railroad ventured by construction by constructing a black powder mill at the base of the Esqu Esquina Falls. Huh. <laughs> <clears throat> the Stumphouse Tunnel was supposed to be 5,863 feet long. Four shafts were completed to provide fresh air for the workers and allow them to work from both sides simultaneously. At its deepest level, the tunnel was 236 below the highest point on the mountain. The granite stone was relentless, and at peak manpower, workers were able to progress only 200 feet a month. Work continued in spite of numerous problems, including unscrupulous construction company, high operating costs, and mobility to secure consistent funding. Mm -hmm. Workers were cut to 1,600 feet from the western opening before the state funds ran out in 1859. Before the money could be acquired, the war between the states began. The town of Tunnel Hill faded away into history. After the war, South Carolina was in no position to continue construction of the rail line. Thus, the tunnel remains unfinished to this day. The temperature inside the tunnel is a consistent 56 degrees with 85% humidity year-round. In the 1940s, Dr. Paul Miller of Clemson College realized these conditions were ideal for curing blue cheese. After the process was perfected, the conditions of the tunnel were duplicated at the Clemson Agricultural Center and the cheese making was moved to Clemson. Today, Stump House Tunnels is one of the most visited historical sites in South Carolina. The tunnel, along with Issaquina Falls, is a recreational site operated by the city of Wahala. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to head out of Stump House Tunnel. All right, so we're heading out. We are going to go see if we can happen across the more cool waterfalls. Um, if not, then we'll see you on the road, but we'll keep you updated. Skirt. We're in up in Tennessee. <laughs> so see what we find. So I don't feel comfortable. So you don't feel comfortable, and then we'll turn around. Mountains are scary to drive in if you're not used to it. Especially if it's snowing. Yes. <laughs> Crystal knows all about that. Yes, 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 I do. And I will never ever in my whole life drive in the snow again. I refuse to do it. At least in the mountains. At least in the mountains. What's this up here? 
Alpha Ranger Station. Okay. We are going into Oconee State Park now. It's beautiful. What do you think? It's probably like two bucks, just like the last one. All right, so now we are at the Oconee State Park and we are going to walk up the old water wheel trail and just see if there's anything else cool that we can check out while we're in the area. And then after this, I think we're just gonna hit the road and head on home. Yeah. Now what do we do if we see a bear? Run. No. Play dead. Walk away slowly. Back away slowly. I feel like we're about to be on naked and afraid. I, I couldn't last through lunch, let alone. We can't build a fire, everything's wet. Uh, could you imagine right now being naked and like having to be out here for 40 days? It looks cool on TV. Oh yeah. The trail is this way. Yeah. How you doing back there? I'm like this because I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny. So yeah, we're just kind of walking around. Look at in the woods. Our... Apparently, we like to walk in the woods a lot. That's like our thing. Well, a lot more elevation change than we're used to. Not really. Oh, it's about to be. Hitchcock Woods. Oh, I felt like the sun was trying to come out just now. I hear birds chirping. Old water wheel trail, which is what we want to go down. So we yeah. need to keep going straight. Cool. There's like little railroad ties down here to I guess help you Probably keep your footing once they help with your footing unless they're soaking wet yeah unless they're soaking wet and then they're just like slimy and super slippery well not really actually there they are. okay the water wheel site is to the right This is really beautiful. Oh wow. There's these old stacks. Ooh, if you look right there, that looks like one of those old milk jugs like I have at my house. Oh wow. There's like an old milk jug up there like we have at the house. There's these like stacks of rocks. I think they were a foundation probably for the old water wheel that was here. So there's a new water wheel then. You think on that other site? I wonder if it's still there. Oh wow, yeah. Wow. These are cool. And there's the foundation all around the water. Oh neat. And this is the old site of the water wheel. Wow, now it's Whoa. just Wow. This is cool. I love old things like this. Oh that's really neat. Here, Jamie, you want to film out there? Yeah. You can see that's where I must have sat. Yep. Look at the giant granite walk down there at the river. <laughs> so cool. This is actually cooler than seeing a water wheel. Yeah. We've seen that before, you know. I just like finding ruins in the woods. Like in the woods. This is just this is just in the middle of the woods in the mountains. Right. Like, what what was it for? You know. <laughs> What's down in here? Is this where the inner ward games of it? Yeah. You want to walk in there? Yeah. You can. You don't want to. You don't trust it. I trust it. I'm just a chicken now. I'd like to have someone else look around the corner before me. <laughs> There's just some pipes and stuff in here. Mosquitoes out the wazoo down here. Oh, yeah. So I wonder what this water wheel was used for.
Well, we are back in the car and we're heading back home to Aiken. I'm wearing crystal sunglasses. We don't, he doesn't know where he put his, so. They're in the back seat somewhere. Okay. And we're moving, so I'm not looking. But yeah, so that was our little short adventure in Walhalla, South Carolina in Oconee. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe to see what else we're gonna be putting out after this. Hit the bell. And hit that bell Download so you'll know somewhere. whenever we upload a new video. So guys, until next time. Keep it Southern Fried. Keep it Southern Fried. Bye.